I don't think the ripeness matters because it's no. like this one is not really ripe because it's less yellow, but it's still edible. Cookable, not raw. Okay, so <laughs> I need to get a little water. <coughs> So this is how you buy it, then you cut it, if you can't cut it, ask your grocer to cut it for you. Once it cut into half, and the reason I didn't cut this like that, my husband actually cut it. Cut it like this, which was really smart, because now, to serve it to you, I can just cut it into four. Whereas the other way, it would have been harder. So what I did is, I paired this bake for 25 to 30 minutes. It just depends on how um, old or new they are because they actually lose moisture when they stay in the store. And these can be stored for weeks, if not months. So that is not a problem, but depending on how old they are, how old they have been in the market, they might take longer. But you want to bake it so that it's still a little bit hard because you're going to make a bowl out of that, serving bowl out of that, right? So you know when it's so very soft that when you're trying to scoop it out, it's going to like disintegrate. You still want to uh, reserve the bowl, right? So 20 to 30 oven, uh, 350, okay? So 350 oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. You put a little bit of water in the pan like this, just a teeny amount of water, like half a cup, and then you moisten this with a little bit of oil, you know, just like less than a spoon. The whole dish is very low fat, very low in salt, and it's no uh, gluten, and it's vegan. So, what else can you want? So, after you have baked about that, you scoop it out, I'm going to scoop it for you. And before you scoop it out, you should make some brown rice, and that you can do day before. The reason you want to do it day before is it's good if it's cold, because it mixes better with the inner, right? Then you toast some um, nuts. I wrote down pine nuts, but pine nuts are like 30, 40 dollars a pound right now. They're so expensive. So what I did is I bought some almond. They're slivered almond and uh, just toasted them without oil in a griddle, just for a few minutes. When they start smelling good, they're done. If you put pine nuts in your freezer, mm -hmm. um, do they, how long do they last? Oh, they last for ever. Mm -hmm. As long as you know everything else lasts in your freezer, yeah, no problem. Yeah, it's the oil that will make it rancid, right. but when you freeze it, the oil freezes too. So when you bring it out of the uh, freezer, you have to allow them to be uh, at room temperature before you toast. How long does that take? Probably a couple hours. So anyway, so some toasted nuts and some chopped cilantro and chopped green onion, scallion, right? If you don't like cilantro, you can use parsley. I know some people either love cilantro or some people hate cilantro. Most Indian and Mexican people love cilantro, right? So that's what I'm going to mix with these inners. And then I bought some cheese, and it's really not cheese. You are all familiar with daya, D-A-Y-A. It's made out of nuts, and it's really the best vegan cheese. And you don't even have to have this. You can have a little bit of nutritional yeast. You know, just something to give it a little bit of a, uh, 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 something to bind it together, right? D-A-Y-A? D-A-Y-A. Yeah, you can come and look at it after the class. Right? And what I need is a mixing bowl. <laughs> so I'm going to scoop it out. And I'm going to mix it, and if you have any questions at this point, you are welcome to ask them. But see how easy it is? So I'm scooping it out. It's easy to scoop out. However, it also leaves a really nice bowl, because that's I'm going to use that for serving. Right? Why don't you leave it just in the skin? Why do you have, do you have to scoop it out? Because I'm going to mix it with rice and the nuts and this and I'm going to put it back. That's it. Got it? You could cook it in the skin. What's that? You could cook it in the skin, then uh, scoop it out after it's cooked in the skin. This is cooked, right? Cook it in yeah, the this is cooked. 
This is cooked. Oh, it's already cooked. This is already cooked. This is cooked for 20 minutes. For 20 minutes. Yes, 20 minutes to half an hour. Until it's still a little bit hard to the shell because you want still your bowl to be intact. You see what I'm doing? It's a lot of work, but it's a fun work. It's like playing with food. Would this work for the miniature pumpkin? And if you have kids, they'd love to do this. Uh, this will work with miniature pumpkin, but I think this is better savory than really sweet. Although this is sweet, but it still has a pungency. In fact, I put lemon juice because I like it even a little bit uh, more sour. So then you can just cut it as little or as big as I use the food processor. But you can even do this, or if you have a pastry cutter, doesn't have to be that fine. Temperature you had cooked at 350. 350. 350. 350. Okay, so while you're fixing this, you can still leave your oven on at 350. I know you guys had dessert first, right? So now you're going to have main courses. What do you think of lemon compared with lime juice? Oh, lime juice is fine. I love lime juice better than lemon, actually. Yeah, but this is what I had today. This is very, very hard. But anyway, you are not going to have this. This is just kind of show and tell. You're going to have the finished product. I made. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I made a lot of this. So this could be cut into four. Serves four people. It is so nutritious as well as satisfying that you really have like a, a bowl of soup and salad. A quarter of this makes a really, really wonderful meal. Can you use butternut squash? You can use butternut squash, you can use, uh, this makes a really nice bowl, yeah. so I prefer. Yeah. So butternut squash has to be certain shape, usually it's long, so buy the tubby one, because it will make two bowls. Okay. Or you can sacrifice the middle part and do something else with that. Right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And just have the tubby part. Or you can cut it like this and you would have kind of a peanut shell shaped bowl, right? Yeah. Cut it like that. So yeah, you can be creative. Also, with inside what you put, you can be creative. Instead of cheese, for instance, you can put, uh, so I'm going to put some cheese here, and I will leave some cheese to top it, with, okay? So instead of cheese, I say you can put nutritional yeast, or uh, instead of um, uh, having green onion and cilantro, you can put spinach or chard, so you can make it really green. But rice really binds well and makes the whole dish, particularly brown rice. See how pretty it is already? Mm -hmm. Particularly brown rice. It makes it very kind of chewy. At the same time, it makes it congeal together. So it comes almost like a cake when it's done. And the Indian uh, cooks normally cook turmeric in every day, which is very healthy for the mind and everything. Right. I'm and going to go to the spices. You're a little oh, bit ahead of me. I'll go to spices. Okay. So the four spices, apart from the lemon juice, which just kind of adds a spicy touch right to it. The four spices I'll be using today is turmeric, okay. cumin, coriander, and cayenne. Okay. But this guy was so very orange that I said, I'm not going to waste my turmeric. So I didn't really do it. <laughs> it's already so orange. Look how orange it is, the whole thing. It's beautiful, right? Very good for turmeric. The turmeric is very good, like you said. You know, it's uh, good for uh, inflammation of uh, arthritis and all these things. What kind of brown rice do you recommend? This is short grain. Yeah, short grain works better, I think, because it's uh, it's chewy as well as starchy, so it binds nicely. And you can also use red rice. Red rice is something new that's come into market, and it acts like brown rice. It is full grain brown. You know, it's it doesn't have any um, bran taken out of it, so it's really nutritious. And red rice is also good for your heart. There's also some pink rice, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. You can use half brown rice and half wild rice, so you can go all kind of a variation now that they're in season. Okay, so this is how, how much rice I'm going to put. And then I'm just going to stuff it up with a little, little oil. Just 
tablespoon. So these are the spices, the four spices I'm using. Actually, I have fifth spice that I'm not going to use, but I wanted to show you. These four spices are like in every Indian kitchen. So if I were to go like camping out, I'll take these five spices. <laughs> Mustard seed, this is turmeric, cayenne, coriander powder, and cumin. Coriander scent is cilantro. When it's a uh, leaf, it's called cilantro. When it's uh, powder of the seed, it's coriander powder. You can pass it. So I do I didn't. Oh, inside? <coughs> Is that good enough? What? Yeah. Okay. What? Why are these? That is um, cumin and coriander powder. Cayenne powder. It's it's in your handout. And the black mustard is the only thing I'm not using tonight. And then I'm going to put some nuts. The rice is already salted. It really doesn't need much salt in this recipe. It's very low salt, very low fat. And after this, you know, I'm glad that I baked them at home because when I came here, I realized that the kitchen doesn't have an oven. <laughs> so fortunately, I brought it in here. So I brought it, put it on top of the stove and then lined it with a little bit of water to warm it up because it just needed warmed up. It's already cooked. I cooked it last night, you know. So it's cooked, but I warmed it up on top of the stove. The oven doesn't work. It was working last year. So I shouldn't have expected that. If you don't use the dia, would you put, just sprinkle yeast on top? Um, you said just sprinkle the cheese on top with the yeast? Or yeah, you? I would mix some in and some sprinkle on top. And that's for the vegan recipe. If you're not vegan, you can use regular cheese as well. Okay. When they, why don't you use brown as opposed to yellow mustard seeds? We don't use that much yellow mustard seeds in Indian cooking. It's always black or brown. Is there a difference in flavor? Oh, oh definitely, yeah. most definitely. I think that it's uh, less spicy and more pungent, the black or brown one. But the black and brown one, you can um, use them interchangeably, okay? So there you go. And now, you would put this back into the oven. It's, it's amazing how much you can stuff in. So, you know, almost all the things that comes out goes back in the rice. So you can pack a lot of nutrients in here. It's great to take to a potluck or a picnic because it just stays nicely and gives you a lot. Now, again, 350, and you cook it for another 30 minutes. And it's okay? And sometimes the cheese will start melting, and that's a signal. Okay, so any question about this? If not, we are ready to serve. When I'm going to serve it, and I didn't have time to show you, I'm going to serve it with chutney, which is tropical chutney, very easy to make. I gave you the recipe. You just mix all the dry fruits with ginger, lemon juice, cayenne, and that's it, and a little bit of water. So it's really amazingly simple sauce that you can make, because when it's done, it's a little bit dryish, so it's really good to have some sort of sauce, and the chutney makes a really good part. You put the cheese on top? Yes, yes. This one, daya, yes. I'll put some cheese right before it goes in. Yeah, just like this. Okay. And then it goes in the oven, and it's out. It's delicious. Okay. I know you guys already had dessert, but this is a good stuff. Okay. So if you're ready, the same. Yeah, that goes with it. And also, if you bring me the time, it's also very luxurious. We also don't have pork, so you're welcome to have some spoons with the sample. So we have a little chutney, and we have a portion of this for you, and we have a little chai. Oh, nice. When you 
mentioned the fake corn, that if it's more golden on the outside, it might be a little bit more. Right. So that like has been my experience. Okay, yeah. Yes, thank you. But this one is always orange, even when it's just a little bit. Sorry, Miss. Oh, no, that's a good question. I think it's, it says in the instruction, advise your diner, like if you give half of this to your diner, advise them to leave the bowl behind. So you can scoop out all the orangey or the yellow part, but not the skin. It's not a, it might give you a tummy ache. So while you're eating, you can ask me a question. Yes, you know, it's like a holiday. 